Uh, if anyone's tuned in to, to look at my last video, you may see a little warning at the beginning that says it's got an age restriction. And uh, that was put on it immediately as soon as it finished processing here on this platform. And uh, the irony is it, it has no nudity, um, no profanity. It had no obscenities of any kind. It had no violence of any kind. It had no call to violence of any kind. Um, none of the vile stuff that we see all throughout YouTube. Uh, we've stumbled across videos on YouTube that they allow nudity. They, they allow violence. They allow calls to... Um, hurt other people, things that Christians denounce. Um, we have the answer to racism. There's one race. God created all nations, all ethnos, all people groups from one blood, and we branched out from that. So racism's stupid. And uh, we teach to love, to do good by others, even those that, that hate us. The only thing that we could figure I was discussing with a couple of others is in that video, God's word was read. Where it was an encouraging video, but the part of the psalm said that he would judge in righteousness. This is his world. He will judge the God of this world. Uh, the moderators and the people here on this platform, they hate the truth. And the thing about it is, is the reason they hate the truth is bondage is power. And uh, whether it be fear or uh, lust, where they've drawn you into something to get you addicted, you know, carnally, they control you with those chains. And as we read God's word, it identifies the chains that bind us. It teaches us how those chains can be broken so that we can be free. And there's many things we don't even realize that we had that we were bound to by those that would suppress or hold the truth down in unrighteousness. In uh, John chapter eight, starting verse thirty-one, Jesus is speaking to believers here. They have already trusted and relied upon Jesus as as Christ and Messiah. And he spake these words, many believed on him. In verse 30, 31, Then said Jesus to the Jews which believed on him, If, so there's a condition, If ye continue in my word, Think of John 15 if you haven't read that in a while. Then you are my disciples. Speaking to believers, he says, And, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If you want to know why all the suppression on platforms of Christians and conservatives, because they speak the truth that is binding people. And they're trying to help people to get out from under that bondage. And the overlords of the tech world don't want that. They don't want you talking to people. They don't want you discussing things, especially through a biblical lens. They want to keep you bound. You need to know that about the enemy out there. He hates you. He wants to control you. In one form or another, he wants to wrap a chain around you and just tie you down to something. These platforms are sinking. They're, you know, we had some relative freedom for a long time, but now there is a hard push. The war is on for the truth. They already got God out of schools. They got God out of living rooms. They got God out of the workplace. Now they're just trying to get him out of the public venue by and large. We are at a time 
not to get discouraged, not to give up. It's, it's time to speak more. They want you to ignore, you know, hear no evil. They just want you to ignore things. Just, just turn a blind eye to it. They don't want you to see what's going on. They want to twist your head and, and give you a distorted view of reality. Whether it's your television, your telephone, your cell phone, they were trying to manipulate the perspective to get you to not see truth so that they can control you and keep you bound. The first thing of, of dealing with an enemy is to identify who he is. That's Satan, sin, the God of this world, the different things that we face. And then learn, don't be ignorant of his devices or his methods, his plans. Learn them as to avoid them. Learn that truth as to avoid them. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. It's beneficial for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God, so this is for you, believer, man or woman of God, person who has trusted Christ may be perfect, entire, mature, truly furnished unto all good works. Our good works are profitable. Living righteously is profitable. Letting others see Jesus work in you is, is profitable. God, speaking through Paul in 2 Timothy 4, really, he goes on to say, I charge you, I give you this responsibility. This is a command. This is an imperative statement. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick, the living, and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant, be ready. In season, out of season. We had an in season for a long time. We're definitely out of season now. The truth is not um, popular. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, doctrine or instruction. For the time will come. When they will not endure sound doctrine, but of after their own lust. And this goes to Christians as well. We are not exempt from this whatsoever. But after their own lust shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. They shall turn their ears from the truth. And shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. You two moderators don't like you. Because you speak the truth. You're not their, their enemy because you speak the truth. They hate God. It's not you that they hate. You're just the person that they can see. Their problem is with God. Endure if afflictions. Do the work. Have an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry, so your service. Press on. Share the truth. It's not going to be popular. Much like a medicine that a child takes that they don't want to swallow because it, it doesn't settle on their palate even though they need it. That's the truth. They don't like to hear of, of the Jesus of Bible. They like to hear Jesus of the movies. Where he's only love. They don't like to hear about the Jesus who is a man of war. A warrior king. Judge. Who will judge the quick and the dead. That's a reality. That's The gospel is contrasted with the bad news. The fact that if a person doesn't trust Christ. If we had not trusted Christ we would be heading to a lake of fire for our sins and our transgressions.
you know, let's not get discouraged. There's other ways to speak the truth. This platform is, is turned into pretty much just reprobate and it's worthless. That's what reprobate means is it really doesn't have a lot of value anymore. We'll use it while we can. And many of us are already making preparations to uh, try to continue in other avenues to reach people that aren't local. Keep everyone in prayer. Keep these pastors in prayer who are just constantly speaking the truth. They're not going to be popular. They often don't show what they deal with, the, the spiritual aspect that they're dealing with. or they, they just set that aside and they preach. And, and you may not even know what these people are going through. So keep them in prayer. Brothers and sisters that have turned from the truth, pray that they convert, return back to the truth. Pray that God gives us strength, that we stay in his word and he keeps giving us the encouragement because he will to keep speaking the truth. If we want to go beyond just being reborn believers we want to live that life that God has for us and we need to be disciples a disciple is one who learns and then they'll go on to practice what they've learned speak the truth in season out of season do all things in love it's not that you're trying to destroy people you're trying to help people they just don't see it so it, it, you know, with the, the stuff on this channel and other channels where they're just, you know, wanting to give them strikes or warnings or, or whatever they can do to kind of get them to hush up. Should we rather listen to God and obey God? Is this, that's what it's always going to come down to. Are we to obey God or man? We can't serve both. So decide today. Who will you choose to love and serve? God, the one that redeemed you, who loves you, who gave his son for you. Or something in this world that one day will face judgment. Whether they shut all of YouTube down and every other platform, that's not going to change the course of future history. Not one bit. So, take heart. Love one another. Pray for one another. Pray for those who are being persecuted in this land, in other lands where the persecution is much, much more severe and they're still serving God. Let those be an example. It's worth it from an eternal perspective. So I want to say I love you. God bless you. And uh, like never before, make Jesus the focal point of all that you do. So take care until next time.